What's up my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today as you guys can see from the title, I am showing you guys a couple of the styles I am going to be rocking, okay? These are some cute styles. My locks are starting to get a little length to them so I'm able to do a lot more and I am really enjoying that you guys. So if you guys want to see how I style my big locks then please keep on watching. What I'm using today to style my locks are ponytail holders, bobby pins, an edge brush, a brush, any gel of your choice, edge control, some rubber bands, and also make sure you have a scarf. For this first style, I am going to go ahead and I am going to gel down my hair and put my hair into a one ponytail at the top i am going to leave the back of my hair down so it's going to be like a half up half down type of style i'm also going to leave the two out in the front And here I'm going to go ahead and wrap two of my locks around the ponytail just to hide that elastic and I'm just going to make sure all my locks are laying exactly how I want them to. And here is for the first style. You're going to need two ponytail holders for this style. I'm going to split my locks down the middle to make two ponytails and I'm going to slick that middle to opposite sides of my hair as you guys can see. You could wear this hairstyle like this or you could wear a variation where you just do buns or you just do something to the ponytail. So uh, let me show you guys some different styles you can do with these ponytails if you don't want to just leave them down. So your girl needs to go and buy some more ponytail holders. I have no more ponytail holders so I had to use rubber bands to do this which it doesn't sit as well as if you use regular ponytail holders but i'm just going up the hair and i'm adding a rubber band maybe like an inch or two apart so that my two ponytails will kind of stick out i love this hairstyle because it kind of reminds me of like a palm tree effect to my hair For this next variation, I am going to make those two ponytails into two buns. You guys, I absolutely love this hairstyle. I just think locks and buns are so freaking pretty. For this next style, I'm kind of trying to achieve this side swoop type of situation with my locks. So I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm going to tie it on the bang type front of my hair. And I'm going to deal with that part last. We're going to get into these ponytails. So I'm going to make two ponytails and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin the bang of the ponytail to the back of my locks to give it that you know side swoop with the two ponytail type of situation
All right, and for the next variation of the two ponytail hairstyle, I'm going to add a ponytail holder to both of my ponytails. And I absolutely love wearing these type of styles, you guys, because I look really, really different. Like, I really stick out when I wear these hairstyles outside in my everyday life. And for the next variation, I am going to make the ponytails buns. You guys... With these buns, I'm always having a hard time because my hair just wants to poke out and stick out somewhere, anywhere. So this is the hairstyle that you would use the bobby pins just to pull like the individual locks that aren't trying to cooperate into your bun. Because you don't want a headache, sis. You just don't want to have to be, you know, trying to figure it all out without the bobby pins. The bobby pins are essential to this hairstyle. Okay. Yo, with the bang situation happening in the front, I think it would be absolutely cute to just wear your bangs down and just have that bang kind of come in, kind of swooping on your forehead. I just think this is super, super pretty. For this next hairstyle, we are, of course, going to add my hair all the way up into one ponytail. And then we are going to start to form the bun. Again, you guys, with the bun, just be prepared to use the bobby pins because your locks are not all one length and they're not all going to do exactly what you want them to do. You kind of got to manipulate and form this bun. And now I'm just going to put my side swoop back where it was and this style is all ready to go. You guys, I absolutely love this hairstyle. It's very pretty. I am going to insert a picture. I actually added a scarf to this hairstyle and you guys, I absolutely love this style. 10 out of 10 definitely will recommend to a friend, okay? For this next style, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give myself a deep part and I'm going to cornrow my locks all the way to the back and I'm going to cornrow the rest at the bottom. Securing that with a rubber band. And now I'm going to go ahead and cornrow the other side and I'm going to pin them together in the back.
because this is the style that I'm going to go with today, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my edges. Please, you guys, if you guys want a in-detail edge video, then please comment in the comment section down below and I will definitely get a video out of how I do my edges to you guys for sure. All that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the post notification bells so you know every time I post. And don't forget to comment if you have any video requests, any questions, or if you just want to talk to me because I'm bored. But you already know it's your girl Candy G in the place to be. So comment down below and I'll get to you for show. Sure. I love you guys so 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 much, and without a doubt, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.